Well, that was the interview of the Azimio duo, right Honorable Raila Odinga and his running mate, Martha uh, Karua, a little while ago, that was televised jointly uh, by media houses across the country. Let's go to Portugal now. President Uhuru Kenyatta has called for urgent global action to address challenges facing oceans, seas, and marine environment, saying that the world needed to upgrade from proposals on the subject to tangible interventions. Speaking in Lisbon, President Kenyatta said that time has come for world leaders to work together and address that question. Let us now look at that report in great detail. President Uhuru Kenyatta, who co-chaired the opening plenary session of the second United Nations Ocean Conference with President Marcelo Ribello de Souza of Portugal and UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres in Lisbon, Portugal, called on world leaders to shift gears from proposals to action in tackling challenges facing oceans and maritime ecosystems. The burden of choice lies with each and every one of us. Over the last decade, we have accumulated sufficient knowledge of all the risks and opportunities and deepened our understanding of actions that we should take. The head of state pointed out that two-thirds of global waters lie in areas beyond national jurisdictions, ABNJ, of economic exclusive zones, noting that inaction in one sea affects other seas, adding that oceans were the most underappreciated resource in the world despite their centrality to human existence. Most of us do not comprehend just how central the ocean is to human existence and for this let me just cite a few examples which underscore why we are in this meeting today. Our oceans cover 70 percent of the global surface and three billion people depend on marine and coastal biodiversity. President Kenyatta said that human action continue to put ocean systems under immense stress, especially from indiscriminate dumping of plastic waste, pointing out that more than 8 million tons of plastics are thrown into oceans each year. Human action has put ocean systems under immense stress. We dump more than 8 million tons of plastics into the oceans each year, sickening and contaminating at least 700 species of marine life. With concrete promises and binding promises coming from every continent. The president noted that solutions to the challenges facing oceans lie with the people, saying that if managed sustainably, maritime resources are able to produce as much as six times more food and generate 40 times more renewable energy. It is our expectation, therefore, that this conference will shift gear from proposals to action. Action that is driven by science, technology and innovation. For Prime Edition, I'm Ben Troyenjua.